Okay. Here we go. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Old Needs Confessional. <laughs> With my special guest judge, Zuzu. What's up? Oh my god, we look like a girl band today. Oh my god, we actually do. We've got the same colour palette on. I know. We didn't even talk about that. We actually didn't. I got this from Asda. I love the headband. Thanks. I've got my snacks here too. What snacks have you got? <gasps> oh my god. These are, are like the fizzy print. ones. Yeah, but like there's a very specific brand of rainbow belts that I like. It's not just any. Yeah, yeah, you're not having the co-op ones. No. What are they? Tuck shop. Yeah, they're like the this one says Vidal or Vidal or whatever. But right. I don't know, but they have to be the hard ones that so like I don't want to. Yeah, stuff. I know what you mean. When yeah. you get like the three for a pound ones in the yeah. supermarket, they're like they look like little. Yeah. They just flop. No. I mean, these. I've got your signature drink, Zoo. Classic. This is Cola. this is actually Zuzu in a can. Yeah. This is your favorite drink in the world. My favorite drink. Nothing beats a classic Coke. No. I don't even care. I hate it when I'm drinking one and everyone goes, do you know how many spoonfuls of sugar are in that? I'm like, no thanks. Do I look like I give a fuck? Exactly. I'm sorry, but like, I'm not asked. <laughs> yeah. I Over die it. young drinking Coca-Cola. You know, sometimes like I went to, this is a really weird tangent, but like I went to a, a really like famous like graveyard in Hollywood. I'm yeah. like, people leave like co cans of coke or bottles of coke on people's graves what as like a sign of goodwill or as i don't victory? know or maybe <laughs> no no no. it's a sign of goodwill and it's like fake coke and it's like full but it's 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 really weird no. but i think it might be something to do with like that person loved coke either way i want a lot of coca-cola on my grave when i die i'd be there i'd be there oh. i'd be training it up to liverpool i'd be lining them up when you're old and i'm dead um, you could come up and, and just leave me bottles of coke on my grave, it'll be sad. Oh, I feel like I'll die first, but we'll we'll work that out when we get there. Yeah, we'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, maybe we'll die together. That'd be, well, yeah, I was going to say that'd be fun, but let's, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> it doesn't sound fun. No, nobody is ever, no one's, no one's dying, ever. Well, thank you for being my special guest tonight. I am so happy to be here. So, the Old Nudes Confessional, episode two, Uno Dos, boom. Um, so, basically, I'm going to read out loads of people's old nude confessions. Great. And you have to rate them out of ten. So, one being, dude, it's not that bad, what you even gassed about. Yeah. Ten is like, oh my god, how are you still breathing? This is the end of the world. Yeah. Okay. Okay. First of all, I'm going to ask you if you got any old nude confessions you wish to share me no i've actually never no taken any nudes. you've got little angel wings i've got angel wings because um i've just i've um just never been asked i don't know why never been why asked has anyone to send them to no true no don't need it don't need it i feel like it's like a it's more popular in like the younger generation now snapchat yeah, seems maybe. to be the danger oh yeah I mean, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm into it. If people want to do it, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm go it. for it. But it's, I've just never done it personally. Hashtag OnlyFans. Do it. <laughs> do, it. <laughs> do it, girl. Yeah. Well, like, we're having such a children's TV moment. You're like eating rainbow belts. I'm having a Coke. It was like a Saturday <laughs> night after The school. only difference is we're talking about old dudes. <laughs> True, yeah. This is like a weird sort of edge, but it's fun. <laughs> Okay, so this is a good one. This is a good one. Are you ready for the first one? Yeah. Okay. I was at a spa one day with my mum. It was a Mother's Day gift that I'd got for her. Um, and yep. as she went into the sauna, I said, oh, I'll catch up in a bit. Um, and I went into the changing room to take a sneaky pic of me in the bathrobe, open, with nothing underneath. That's nice. Imagine okay. that looks I good. See. So he, she sent it to her boyfriend, Mitchell, and then went into the sauna, enjoyed the day, whatever. Yeah. But when she got back to her phone, she didn't have a text back from Mitchell. She had a text back from Mitchell's mum, Michelle. And she replied with, Hi, sweetheart. What a lovely bathrobe. Are you in for dinner tonight? 
I can never look her in the eye again. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot to process. Right. Mitchell, Michelle. I can see the mishap, but I do believe you need to be more careful when you're sending the bathrobe snap. I mean, Michelle sounds like a babe. To have just ignored it and replied to Michelle to sounds like an icon, to be honest. Oh, I think she's the real hero of this story. I think, I, um, yeah, I'm thinking of lower, like, marking it lower because of how well the shot was. Because of how, yeah, if she'd have taken it badly, I'd be like, yeah. fair enough. But she actually just sort of, like, well, just she wrote. was like, yeah. You look stunning. Are you coming yeah. around for dinner? <laughs> yeah. She was almost picking her up. Yeah, I'd want to, yeah, I don't think I could. It would take a lot to get over. But at the same time, I reckon it's all right. Yeah. So what okay. are you getting at? Um, Six. Six. Fair play. Not that embarrassing. Because... But... I mean, it is very embarrassing, but at the it same is, yeah. time, like I said, if she had gone, if it did just, if it had landed and had no response, I'd have been more worried. Yeah, if she had just like not replied, but and she's instantly been like, she's gone. Oh, you're coming round, so she's instantly been like, I do. Want yeah, she's to like, she's tried to salvage it. You're not dead. She's to a 21st me. century woman, Michelle. Let's see you tonight. So, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Next. I once took a pretty raunchy pic of myself and I sent it to a guy I was chatting to. I was waiting ages for a reply and when he did, all he said back was, heavy flow, question mark. I looked back at the picture and in the reflection of the mirror, you could see a massive bumper box of tampons, super plus size, and a box of Feminax, game over. Like, I read that and I was just like, what the fuck? So wait, hang on. He just saw, there was just tampons. So what's happened is she sent a nude, right, in the mirror. Yeah. And also in the mirror, you can also see her and then you can see stuff behind her, like yeah. on the shelf or whatever. And like, yeah, but obviously, Pride of Place is like a massive box of like, super plus tampons I or whatever. I would say it is time for him to grow up. That's what I thought. I was like, he's in the wrong Don't there. be embarrassed. Yeah, heavy flow this my man arse, man. needs to educate himself. He does. On periods. Yeah. And heavy flows. Heavy so, flows. <laughs> God forbid he ever comes in I contact with a woman yeah, again. I want to know what she said back. I hope she was like, dude, later. I hope she did that. Wow. Oh, oh my God. Like, honest to God, that's like literally like, get in the bin Get so him. actually i think the embarrassment is on him this time the embarrassment is on his part to be fair because yeah the man's obviously never has an education of course so what are you saying how embarrassing is oh. that for him 10 for him for him 10 for her nil zero point. don't be embarrassed here we'll ask her to be in our girl band and it'll all be yeah, all right she can join, it's fine anyone can Okay, so this one isn't quite a nude, like a nude photo confession, but it okay. involves nakedness, and I thought it was funny, so I'll, I'll put it in. Sick. Cool. So I was on holiday with my family in 2016, and we met another family out there. I really fancied the boy, and we started hanging out whilst our parents would have dinner and stuff. Classic. Love that. This is so, like, every girl in the world, yes. isn't it? <laughs> we all agreed to go to the water park together. And I went on one of those slides with him in which you face each other in the double rubber rings. You know the ones? You know I the know. ones. Oh my God, this is reminding me of, yes, yeah. So she was like, I was excited that he asked me to go on with him. Steps, I agree. I was wearing a bikini top that fastened together at the front. And it was not the most robust. As soon as we started moving, I jolted back and my bikini top flew open leaving my jubbies staring at the sky for the whole ride. I couldn't do it back up because I couldn't let go of the handles. It was so awkward after that, and I left immediately. <laughs> I mean, that was going to go one of two ways. That's... He was either going to be like, nice jubbies, or he was going to be like, mortified, and they're both so young and embarrassed. I love that she's called them jubbies. I have been Same! I was like, yes, I can get on board with that. Long, long time. Yeah. That's great. Um, to be fair, I'd be I'd be mortified at that because like 
she is just instantly gone on that right yeah. like because the thing is with a nude is like if you're sending a nude like you're feeling yourself a bit do you know what I mean and you're like yeah you've got the angle right the lighting's there yeah it's on in your the cold light of, in the it's cold on... light of a summer water park day in public in public and do you know what the worst about... is, is she can't cover up because she can't let oh, go so she's having to literally be like this on the ride looking like, at him and close just... your eyes yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they spoke. I wonder if she was like, oh my god, don't look, don't look. Or whether they were eyes. just like silent. <laughs> oh, imagine if she got a photo. Like, at yeah, the, you know, like on those rides. Oh my god, yeah, like on a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, like, she's like, like oh my god, what's him? And like, at the end, you can see everyone's pictures and it was just there for yeah. everyone to see. So embarrassing. Oh, yeah. What okay. are you saying about that? I'm going to give that a 10, because... It is, so, it is awful, isn't it? I mean, it's funny, because it's so innocent, but it's that is so embarrassing. I'm going to have a sweet after that. <sighs> okay. Next. Bad parenting incoming is was the subject. So, I was taking nude photos of myself frequently to track my weight loss progress. I have two children, so I was trying to shake off the baby weight. I had no idea photos I took on my phone synced to the iPad in which my children use for homework and playing games. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. My daughter took the iPad into school to show her homework progress that I had screenshotted on the iPad. When Mr. Roberts was scrolling through the screenshots, he stumbled across an album of nude photos of me. I was called into the school about it. I was humiliated, but Mr. Roberts is always extra smiley when he sees me now. Yeah. So, classic mum move. Don't know how the iCloud works. They don't get it. Don't get the Apple ID situation. I'm actually shook from that one. So I think it's, I can only imagine as a mother how embarrassing that is. Like, I've got another like I've, at first I was like how could this happen yeah and the wave of like what the fuck yeah then Mr. Roberts could have just stopped in that very moment when he saw yeah. something on a private iPad yeah he, he just, just been he hadn't even noticed he could have just gone oh I think he, he goes, I think Mr. Roberts is keen I, I think, think he's keen though. Mr. Roberts has got some, some something going on yeah <laughs> i don't know whether it's i want to be like is he that one is he the designated fit teacher as well he could be or he could just be one of them teachers who's like just like um not even teachers just like a job's worth yeah do you know what i mean where he's like oh i'm gonna take this to the head instead of just being like oh it's just a little naked picture ignore it um, that's crazy that one i'm gonna I can't even. And that's more than ten. That's eleven. It's bad, isn't it? It's bad. I'd be, I, I, I'd be more surprised if that was me and my kids and school being brought into school. Oh my god! Oh no, not ideal, is it? Okay. Well, next. This one, this one's interesting. I can't take any more. So I just got both of my nipples pierced and, ta <laughs> <laughs> and taken a photo, which you would, I imagine. If you, you just to... got both your nipples pierced, you'd take a photo of it. You yeah. Must. So she said a lot of her girlfriends wanted to see. She'd obviously been like, oh, I'm going to do this, whatever. So I slammed it in the group chat, but I accidentally posted it in my work chat. Everyone at the pub has now seen my boobs. I instantly freaked out and there was nothing I could do. And then the head chef replied with, is this the special for tonight? I quit my job and haven't had the guts to go back into the pub ever again. That's a lot. It's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, slip of the, it's a slip of the fun. Slip of the thumb. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know what, like? that's something else I mean I think I think that like maybe the chef I was gonna like ah uh, maybe he was just trying to make us feel better maybe yeah he is he just something. joking around or is he like perv chef 
Yeah. Or, yeah. I mean, you must have just it? been trying to... If someone sends that to a weird group chat, what are you going to say? I'm telling you now, I would not reply. I'd be yes, like, same, I'm going to let reply. someone else be like, oh, Obviously, it's not for the work chat. Obviously. No. It's, it's obviously not meant to be there. But it is. But it is there. Holy shit. I mean, it's pretty bold sending it out, sending a nip shot to your group chat for your mates as well. Yeah, I know. That is bold. It's bold. But I like it. She's got her nipples pierced. To be fair, if my mate got her nipples pierced, I'd want to see. I would want to see too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you ever get your nipples pierced, send me a pic. I'll be sending them to you, yeah. Try not to accidentally send them to... I'm not in a work chat. I don't have a proper job, so... No. Probably end up sending the band to... Oh my god, imagine sending it to the band one, though. The band chat would be fucking horrific, wouldn't it? would be like... That'd be weird. <laughs> How would you sit in a van with them, like, all Never. your life? I'd be like... <laughs> They've seen the back of me, the back of me a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you're, like, yeah. to the wall and, like... Yeah, you'd just be like... <laughs> when you're getting ready in your cupboard before yeah. the stage time. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I've had to get changed, like, in front of them a lot of times. That's what I'm saying. But I'm just, like, look away. I'm, like, do like, look away. West, or just turn around or, like, yeah. you face the wall, they face the wall. Yeah, that's the sort of thing. Okay. <clears throat> so this is one I got recently. Do you know what house party is? Have you been using the house party app? Oh, yeah. Right, so this is the house party one. Cool. So recently I was using house party to chat to a guy with whom I had a thing with last summer. We aren't close, but have a lot of mutual friends from secondary school. Many of them have both of us on the aforementioned app. For those unfamiliar with house parties, it's USP is the ability... Wait, what am I talking about? For those unfamiliar with house party, it's USP is the ability to give you... So you can basically drop into other people's conversation. I think that's what she's trying oh. to say. So, like, you don't have to be invited. So me and you could be chatting on house party, and then, like, someone that you know could just jump on the chat. Okay, got you. And you'd be like, oh, hey. Like that. <laughs> so, basically, she's on the... She was chatting to this guy because she sort of had a thing with. And then after exchanging pleasantries, the guy in question, mid-sentence apparently, pulled his joggers down, causing little to be left to the imagination. In the same instant, my best friend from, of seven years, who knew both me and the lad, decided to pop in and say hi. So she's talking to the lad, he's got his wang out, and then all of a sudden their best mate's face has just popped up. And they're all chatting. They haven't locked the room. They have not locked the room in House Party. So he's quite frankly got his peen out. And she stood there like this. And then her best mate's there. But this is when it gets weird, I think. So we were left there, the three of us. Myself, my best friend, and this guy, and his whatever. Um, to avoid further complication, I left the room. So she left the chat. But they stayed chatting, the best friend and the guy. That's when I was confused. I was like, that's embarrassing, for one, for the dude, or whatever. But then what are they talking about? Did he, like, pull back up, and did they just have a casual chat, or, like... Or were they chatting? I was like, is there more <laughs> to this? Part two, Whoa. please. I want the sequel. I'm so confused. I mean, like... Why get, why get your willy out? Why get it right? Yeah, this is something I'm just going to throw out there now. Boys. Yeah. No one, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, boys, no one wants to see photos of your willy. No one. No one. They know what, even if a girl fancies you, she doesn't want to see a picture of you. Exactly. <laughs> Not interesting. I just want to reiterate that. Not that any boys are probably watching this, but no one wants to see it. No. Nope. Is that current? That's current. He just heard that in the locker areas. He's like, I heard. Current, do you agree? Do you agree? Well, I definitely don't want dick pics. He doesn't want dick pics. <laughs> he doesn't want to get them. He doesn't want to. Get them. Don't send dick pics to Zoo. I, I don't want it. Find it very intimidating. It's stress. It's very aggressive. <laughs> it's very aggressive, intimidating. He says. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. So it's um no no one wants them unless you ask for them unless someone asks you for them. Yeah. Unless someone really, you know, if you get a request, then I'd say, go for it. Only send nudes to people who want them. 
Yes, <laughs> definitely. Okay. <clears throat> so again, this one is not really a new confession, but certainly an embarrassing naked story. So I was on the train once, can't remember where I was going, but I went to the toilet and it was one of those doors that electronically slides open and shuts when you press the button. You know the yeah, ones. Uh... Yeah. So I sat having a wee and all of a sudden the door slowly started opening, but I was mid-wee so I couldn't do anything. There was just no! this awkward man standing there looking at me and there was a queue. He apologised, but I couldn't get up to press to close the button because my arms were too short to reach. So I had to awkwardly ask the man if he wouldn't mind shutting it for me. It was awful. <laughs> That's so bad. I have a kid. I did that to someone once on the train. No way. I was the door opener. You did it. And I was oh like, my oh, God. and shut the door as quick as I could. That's Can cool. I just shout out Charlotte Rice, who's just commented on this, has fessed up. This is her confession. She's oh not even God. embarrassed. This is me. Charlotte, you absolutely... <laughs> Charlotte, I love you. You're a legend. And this would definitely happen to you. This is the sort of thing that would happen to you. Oh, my Lord. God, I just, Charlotte. Every time I'm in one of those toilets, though, I have that fear. I'm always sat in there like, is that locked? Is that locked? Yeah. So I'm sort of having like a weird wee where I'm like reaching out just to make sure I can close it just in case. It's so true. Because you don't have like the, the confidence that like clicking no. a mechanical lock gives you. Yeah, you're not like, oh, I you're can just see it. That's a button in. shut. Yeah. You're just pressing a button and hoping for the best. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <sighs> it's tough, isn't it? What are you gonna, what are you going to give Charlotte? Oh, How embarrassing is that? Charlotte, that's an eight. That is an eight. Uh, yeah, maybe <laughs> That eight. is a solid confession. I enjoyed reading that very much, Charlotte. <clears throat> okay. Where are we now? Okay. This is quite a long one. Okay. But I enjoyed it because I think it... My guess is that it's come from, like, a middle-aged man, which is not usually my demographic. Normally, they're, like... Young girls. So I was like, I'm going to give this man a time of day because he's actually written this email to me. And it's, yeah. you know, whatever. Well, yeah, men write you weird emails, but this is a good one. <laughs> yeah, men tradition. <laughs> I only normally get weird emails from men. Yeah. So this, this isn't unfamiliar for me. Okay. But I'm just imagining how embarrassing it would be if you were sort of like mid-30s or whatever. Yeah. So. At Christmas in 2012, very precise my wife sent me a picture she found on facebook as a voucher to be saved and used in her exact words it was for one bj in the following year so basically she's given him like a little sex coupon like here you go happy christmas claim this whenever you want and sent him a photo that he needs to like show her again i guess like a sort of wife husband I don't know how it works. I'm too young to understand that sort of. Mm -hmm. But whatever. <clears throat> so a couple of months later, after a night out with his mates, I returned home a few beers worse for wear and feeling a bit frisky. <laughs> I had a bright idea. I know, I'll cash in my voucher. So I sent it back to the wife and looked forward to the sexy fun times that were about to come my way. In my drunken state, I sent it to not my lovely wife, but my lovely mother, Yes, that's right. I asked my mum for a... So in the photo, he's, it's awful because I can't show you, but he sent me a screenshot of the text. And on the photo, which she obviously sent him, it's like a voucher for one of those. I think I've said it once. I don't know why I've got shy saying it again, but I don't want to say it. It's blowjob, yeah, that's what I'll it is. say it for you. You can right? say it for me because I've got like this weird little yip about it. And I'm like, I can't it's blowjob. Are you on about just <laughs> yeah. a song about old nudes? Just say I it. Know, and I'm like instantly approved. I'm like, can't say blowjob, won't say blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the photo is, it's just a woman being like, it's like a, it's a blowjob voucher. So he sent that to his mum, right? And then she's replied like, what's this? And he's like, oh my God, like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. But to this day, I don't know whether my mum read it and pretended not to understand it to spare me my embarrassment or genuinely didn't realise what I'd done because I've never asked her and I never will. Did it say BJ? Yes. Okay, well, I think you might have gotten away with it because one time we were watching telly with my dad and my brother. Yeah. And on the telly, like someone said in the film, BJ. And my dad goes, 
What does that mean? Okay, so maybe he actually has gotten away with it then. Yeah, and like me and my brother pissed ourselves and like he made us, <laughs> he took us like, it took him an hour to get it out of us. What did he think it meant? So now he just couldn't understand. He just like, he didn't think it was a sexual thing at all. It's just he wasn't going down that route at all. True. And then when we told like... him, he was like, yeah, what? Why Billy Joel. That? Oh, that's disgusting, that. How do you know that? Is yeah, it... no, no, I, guess, I guess it depends how old she is. She just might be out of touch. Maybe yeah. she's just like, what's that? And if he's gone, yeah. oh, don't worry about it. It's a mistake. Yeah. I think he probably has gotten away with it. But I think I the think embarrassment to send that, you know, as a middle-aged man, to send that to he your mum, I think yeah. that's tough, isn't it? It's, he knows <laughs> what he did either way. Yeah. So it's what are you saying? Down. What are you giving it? Um, I'm going to give it a six. Six? Yeah. Fair play, I think. Fair play. <clears throat> okay. So. Oh my God, my mum was just there. My mum's here and she just said it's true about that blowjob thing. Like, <laughs> that was she said, oh God. Hey, Susie's mum. <laughs> what does everyone say? People just seem a bit mortified by, um... Okay, <laughs> someone, someone has messaged in. They're saying, it's true, I was the coupon. So, Chloe... Oh. I can't believe people are, oh, this is supposed to be anonymous confessions, everyone. <clears throat> and they're fessing up. They, it's, it's, oh my god, my dad, my dad just said Is your dad, is your dad in? He said I'm fucking here too. <clears throat> Look, That's dad, so it's professionals. You didn't know what a BJ was, it's not your fault. Yeah, not everyone, <laughs> not everyone's to know. I think you're better off not knowing. I mean, I don't know about that <sighs> oh someone said it was a joke it wasn't them i was gonna say that would have been cool if it was uh she's like really adamant now she's like, wait, I was joking. <laughs> how funny okay this is a good one this one made me laugh because it was about like the sort of thing that i would do <clears throat> sorry i've got that weird throat thing corona <clears throat> it's probably corona <laughs> Um, so not really a new confession, but once when I was home alone, I was naked running around the house looking for a clean towel. Happens. Happens. And a DPD tri driver was staring at me through the kitchen window, pointing at the parcel saying he needed a signature. I was so embarrassed that I totally ignored I'd seen him and ran upstairs. I'm so petrified of ordering anything online now, just in case it's him. <laughs> I just think like, fuck, like, what are you doing here? Oh God, that's It's awkward. sad, isn't it? I that's mean, awkward. that is embarrassing. Obviously you'd be like, oh my God. What's he doing yeah. looking in your kitchen window? Just, just, if you see someone naked, look, just look around. Just look, look just look, be like, oh, look, yeah, yeah, look around. Like, oh, excuse me. Like, unless it wasn't obvious, you know, unless it was like, you know, sometimes you can't see through people's, windows yeah that's true maybe she he just was like oh i've got a parcel yeah. and she's yeah. like oh, God, yeah that's true that's true because if you saw someone naked you would know that they can't come to the door right now as well i oh, know and now she's too scared to order anything online i'd say go for it and just make sure you don't run around the house Do again. It. i was once in my parents hot tub in my bikini and I had to answer the door to a tnt man that was awkward yeah it's embarrassing isn't it you feel a bit like yeah it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. I'm going to give that a six as well, though, because a six. I don't think it's like, it's not sending a picture to you. No, it's, not your, it's not your kids' school seeing all your nudes. No, it's not. It's not. No. That's next. <clears throat> That's been the worst one for me so far. Someone said, but no companies use DPD anymore. All right. Uh, well, they do, because I've Maybe. got an email. Just <laughs> to say, if you want to see it, that says see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mum's done a comment. Mum said, I understand I've missed the blowjob story. Tina will be gutted to have missed that. Oh, is that your mum? Yes, yeah, mum, isn't yeah, it? She I loves it. Follow her. Yeah, give her a follow. She, oh, she did say yeah, hi, by the way. I follow you. Love you, Tina. She absolutely loves you. I My mum loves everyone. And so, to the point where if she doesn't like you, you're probably the worst sort of human being in the world. Now I don't feel special. No, because it's different, because there's different levels of love. Do you know what I mean? But you know when like, your yeah, mum doesn't like someone? I know you're what like, you mean. Well, you must be a dirtbag. 
Yeah, you've got to be really shitty for your mum not to like them. Yeah. My mum's kind of It's like a good a indicator. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Zoo, this is the last one. No. I know. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like I should say thank you to everyone as well for sharing this information with me. Um, I have much fun reading through these emails, as you can imagine. <laughs> Tragic, but makes me feel better about my life, so. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> okay, so I was young and stupid and sort of sexting this guy, just like pics back and forth. And all of a sudden he just stopped replying. I was kind of hurt and confused. So I went back on Snapchat to check and my heart sank. I'd been snapping my brother at the same time about dinner and I'd fucked up. I'd sent the nude to my brother and a picture of me eating spag bowl saying nice work to the sexed guy. My brother, thankfully, hadn't opened it yet as he was playing Xbox in his room. So I ran in, stole yeah. his phone, and Good. locked myself in the family bathroom. Yeah. My whole family was banging on the door, and my brother was livid. I wouldn't open the door until he gave me his phone password. <laughs> I then deleted the pic. But the worst part is, my family would not stop asking me questions, so in the end, I had to tell them what happened. Yeah. My brother didn't talk to me for weeks, and my mum and dad took my bedroom lock off my door. Lesson learned, I've never sent a nude again. Aww. What a night! What a night in the house! Aww. I just, I can relate to that sort of, like, running to the family bathroom, like, oh my god, this can't be happening, like, lock yourself in, and the whole family's like, what are you doing in there? And you, what have you done? That's, what's that? There's love but do you know what you, that level. Well, I haven't done nothing, but do you know what you do? <laughs> I mean that's embarrassing, but she saved herself. No one saw that photo. She what won. I think is quality is that the guy she was like sexting got a picture of like her eating spag bowl. Probably for, he, he probably feels a bit pied off. And why didn't he reply? Is that spag bowl? Yeah, maybe he felt a bit like because they were doing like you know. Oh, so you if you can't and then she just changed the mood ball. and can't went spag bowl, and he was ball. like, oh. Look, spag bowl can be sexy. Spag bowl can be sexy. Yeah. Said no one ever. Well, I have, I, I, have I hate, spag bowl and I hate pan. watching people eat spaghetti. It makes me feel sick. I, no one likes to see anyone eat spaghetti. I real struggle with it because you know when like you're set up, like sat opposite someone and they're all like, uh, no. and you're just like, oh my god, that's eat disgusting. spaghetti in private. <laughs> it's a private dish. Yeah, it's a private dish. But <clears throat> what's everyone saying? People want my mum to be a judge on this one day. Oh apparently. my god, get Tina as I feel like job. probably for the final old new confessional, I will have to get my mum on here for sure. That would be amazing. That would be so good. I mean, it will be the end of my career as we know it, but um, it will not. Your mum is just an enhancement to your career, Lauren. I know, but the last time we were on live stream together, she guffed. She never had. Here's a little trump. What did you, what did you call? What did you call it then? A guff. Is that like a Isle of Wight thing? I don't like, know. Oh. Do you not? Have you never heard that? I've never heard that in my life. Oh, we used to always say like, "Cool, cool have you guffed? You never heard that? Have you guffed? Have you, have you guffed? Oh, we're proper British there. I was like, have you yeah. guffed? No. I guess in Liverpool they go guffed. And I've Goffed. never heard that. Have no. you guffed? I haven't, and I haven't heard it. No. Well, but you learn something new every day. You can use it and abuse it now. Thanks. We should do one where we teach each other um, southern and northern sayings. Oh, yeah. We should definitely do one of those. That'd be good. That'd be fun. What are you I doing love for the rest single, of the... by the way. I have been hammering it so hard. It's so, so sick. And I'm very proud of you. I love you so much. And you are my most talented friend. And oh, my God. Thank you so much for asking me on here. Oh. Bye. I'm melting. I love you. You're the best. Literally, I love you more. Your music is super fresh, and I feel like, you know, it's so unique, and I, I'm so excited for everything to come to for you. I'm literally tearing up. Genuine tears. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm going to cry for you, so that's enough. <laughs> I literally can't wait to get the train up to Liverpool. Oh, my God. Roll on the trips. Roll on. I'm right to Liverpool. McDonald's drive throughs and 
songwriting together that'd be fun yes yes i can't wait actually i was thinking i might send you some like half written songs that we could maybe try and do yeah we uh, could try and do some stuff in quarantine and existence i'm just that'd gonna quickly show all of your sick fans of this sick stuff you got me for my birthday the other day i sent Susie some pens for her birthday. Look, this one is like a is it a rocket song. yeah it's a rocket but it's like it's I saw it and I was like, I hope you still love space. And then I was like, yeah, you don't just stop loving space. You don't just them. stop loving space. You don't just space. stop loving space. You can't just go off space. <laughs> These so are my sorry. space books. And my rocket. Oh, rocket club. Yes. I love you. I love you. Thank you, Thank you so much for coming on and judging some people's stories. Um, they were fun. I had so much fun. It's fun, isn't it? It's fun laughing at other people's problems, I think. It's much better than laughing at your own. It sure is. That's for our private FaceTime tomorrow. Yeah, that's when we can cry about our own. Bring the box of tissues and we'll cry about our own problems. It'll be good. <laughs> Can't wait. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. Love you. Bye. 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 <clears throat> oh, what a babe. Um, thank you so much for watching episode two. Probably will do one more with me, mum. Um, someone put up here something, I can't remember. And I was going to go back to it, but I forgot. But I just want to thank everyone that has written in a tragic story. Um, these are all genuine confessions, and I appreciate all of your misfortune. Your misfortune brings me happiness. Thanks for listening to Old News as well. That's gone alright, I think, as far as quarantine business goes. So, you know, probably do another one of these soon. But for now, I'm going to go. Bye, everyone. Sweet dreams at 8.37.